Many thanks for staying with us on the newsroom. These are the stories we are tracking at the moment. The federal government has arraigned the candidate of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, in the 2023 governorship election in Ogun State, Ladi Adebutu, in absentia, alongside five other persons for alleged vote buying before an Ogun State High Court sitting in Abelkota. Justice Akinyemi granted bail to the accused after they pleaded not guilty to all four counts leveled against them. The court has adjourned the case until Tuesday, September 26, 2023. Lagos State Governor Babajide Sonwolu and his deputy Obafemi Hamzat have opened and closed the fence in an election petition brought against them by the Labour Party and its governorship candidate Badebo Rhodes Viva. The Labour Party and Rhodes Viva are challenging the victory of Sonwolu and Hamzat in the March 18 governorship election. They are also challenging the eligibility of Hamzat to contest the election. The Zamfara State Police Command has confirmed the killing of four policemen by armed bandits on Monday night during an attack in Bongudu local government area of Zamfara State. The spokesperson for the command, ASP Yazid Abubakar, said four of their personnel were killed at a police checkpoint along Gasao Bongudu Road. He added that several cattle belonging to residents of Tageru village were also rustled by the bandits. Biotech company Novavax Incorporated has said Canada will pay $349 million to settle the forfeiting of certain doses of its COVID-19 vaccine previously scheduled for delivery. The U.S. vaccine maker also reached the deal after a sharp decline in global demand left a raft of COVID-19 doses unused. The company added that the number of vaccine doses due for delivery has been reduced and the schedule for remaining doses to be shipped will be revised under amend amended terms. In business, Nigeria currently accounts for 33% of total gas reserves in Africa, the federal government disclosed on Monday. While saying this through the Nigerian Upstream Petroleum Regulatory Commission, it added that the gas reserves in Nigeria could last for about 94 years. The chief executive officer, NUPRC, Benga Komalafe, said that said this in Abuja at the Nigerian Association for Energy Economics 16th annual international conference with the theme energy evolution transition and reform the prospects for african economies on the global scene the united states has charged the head of a u.s think tank gal loft with being an agent of china as well as seeking to broker the sale of weapons and iranian oil prosecutors allege loft brokered a deal for chinese companies to sell weapons to countries including libya the united arab emirates and kenya despite lacking the license needed under U.S. law. According to a statement released on Monday by the Department of Justice, Loft is also accused of setting up meetings between Iranian officials and a Chinese energy company to discuss oil deals despite U.S. sanctions on the Middle East country. In sports, two-time Olympic champion Kasta Semenya has won an appeal at the European Court of Human Rights against rules that govern testosterone levels in female athletes. The South African female athlete who has hyperandrogenism, a medical condition with higher than normal testosterone levels, has been asked to artificially reduce her testosterone levels in order to participate in world championships. With a court victory, Semenya may now be free to challenge once again the roles that have left her career on hold. Well, that's all on the newsroom at this time. Many thanks for watching. I am Simisola Adigo.